it, Papa. You did it. Today, we are going to talk about Estwing axes. But there is something we need to do first. One second. That's right, folks. This channel has reached 1,000 subscribers. I appreciate all of you who have subscribed just for you. Thanks. Back to the S-Wing axis. S-Wing makes a lot of different styles of axes. I've got three here, but they make a bunch of different types of axes from useful types like this to some that are maybe more the tactical side of things. Uh, and then tools that are more special purpose like carpenter's axes and shingle axes and, and things like that. Uh, so a whole range of axes. Let me show you these three that I've got here. We'll talk briefly about these and I'll give you a few little pros and cons about S-Wing axes and why I think these are uh, about the best axes that you can get for just that general purpose weekend camping axe to put in the car. Now you'll notice that S-Wing is not super inventive with the names of their axes, but this is the camper's axe, one solid piece. It's got this rubber uh, shock reducing grip on here is what they call this. This is the same grip that you'll find on S-Wing hammers and their other tools. 18 and three quarter inch long. You've got a four inch cutting edge on the head there. This axe weighs in at two pounds, 13 ounces overall. So not that heavy, slim profile. These work quite well for splitting as well as chopping. You can use it with two hands for chopping. You can also hold it easily in one hand for just trimming and, and whatever. Now the camper's axe is in the 40 to $50 range depending on where you find it. Um, S-Wing axes are pretty available. You can find them online. Uh, you can find them in some uh, big stores like Home Depot. Next up, we have the S-Wing Camper's Axe. Yes, it is also the Camper's Axe, but it's the long-handled Camper's Axe. Like I said, S-Wing is not super inventive with the names. This is the one that I've had the longest. I think I've had this like eight or nine years. This was my car camping axe. So it rode in my car for a long time and then it sat outside by the fire pit for splitting bigger chunks of wood for a couple of years. So it's not been treated super well. Uh, this one came with a leather sheath. They used to come with leather. Now they come with the nylon sort of canvasy sheath. The long camper's axe has the exact same head as the shorter camper's axe, four inch blade. It's just 26 inches long overall. This one weighs in at three pounds, four ounces. It has the same solid steel construction, with the narrow shank there, and then a hollow steel tube through the rest of the handle. It has that shock reducing grip. Uh, it's just on the lower portion of the handle here. And just again, general purpose, exact same head, that very narrow head works quite well for chopping and splitting. The price on these, uh, when you find them, is about the same in that $40 to $50 range. third S-Wing axe that I have here is the S-Wing Camper's Axe. This small orange handled Camper's Axe, this size uh, and design comes in a, a couple different colors, is 15 inches long. It has a three and a half inch blade on here. It's got a notch there that's like a tent stake puller, I think is what they call that. It's not a nail pulling notch. The weight on this thing is just slightly over two pounds. Solid steel construction again. That same rubber shocks reducing grip. It comes with a nylon sheath. This one is slightly different. Uh, the axe drops through the top of the sheath like so. This one's a bit of a pain to get on and off. This works really well for splitting, kindling, and small pieces. These cost in the $35 to $40 range, uh, depending on, again, where you find them and what color they are. Sometimes the colors cost different prices. This is just three of the many types of axes that S-Wing makes. So let me just go over some pros uh, on these axes, why I think they're so great. Uh, number one is their solid construction and that they are made in the US. These are 
almost indestructible, just overall really, really durable with a wooden handled tool. That's gonna require a bit more attention, a bit more care. With this ax, you don't have to worry about that. If you overstrike with this ax, you're not gonna break the handle. Uh, it's just a really solid ax for someone who's not using an ax a lot, wants something they can throw in the truck and not think about until they need it. The price on these is also really good. That $40, $50 range is about what you would pay for something of a similar size. This is a, a plum boys ax. You'd probably pay a little more than $40, $50 for something like this. These are pretty close in size uh, for a, a boys ax. You can of course get cheaper axes, but they are not going to be as durable uh, as something like this. The last pro is just that they work really well. You can chop wood, you can split wood with them. Uh, you're probably not going to fall any trees with it, but just general purpose chopping and splitting for your campfire, they are awesome at doing that. Let's talk about a couple of cons. Uh, I guess the cons for this is uh, the solid construction, actually. Uh, when you're chopping, you get more vibration through that solid steel construction. So if you're going to be chopping big stuff, if you're going to be bucking logs or trying to fall something, these are not going to be the axes for doing that. You do get more vibration through that solid construction. This rubber grip helps with that, but you can feel it more than you would with a wood handled ax. So if you are doing a lot of chopping, this is not going to be the best choice. But if you are someone who chops a lot of wood, then you probably have a preference for a uh, heavier head or a different style of axe anyway. This is a more of a lighter duty around the campsite utility axe and not really a you know bucking and falling axe. One other con is that this really narrow uh, construction up here means it's less comfortable and a little harder to really choke up on the head of the axe if you are using your axe for any smaller, finer cutting. Uh, again, that's only if you are using your axe that way. That probably would make these less useful for bushcraft applications. This probably wouldn't be the axe you would choose for your, you know, your bushcrafters out there. I think it would work really well, especially this size. This is not that heavy, but uh, if you are using it for those type of applications where you're wanting to maybe do finer cutting, um, not really the best handle for that. So that's my overview of S-Wing axes. I love them. They are solid tools, great for throwing in your car, for camping, throwing in your garage. There is a style out there for everyone from the camper who is looking for a camping axe to the more tactical side if you're looking for a spike tomahawk or a double bit axe. That's all I've got about S-Wing axes. I just love these things and I've been using them for almost a decade probably. Uh, maybe even a little more. I don't really remember when I got this axe. I just know that I've had it a long time. You guys let me know down in the comments what you think of S-Wing axes. Uh, if you love them, hate them, are you a wood handle person? Thank you all. I appreciate you and I will see you next time.